How's it going guys? So today's Saturday, long time no see. I did have a video going um, either Monday or Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. Um, my wife, uh, Caden, was doing another car seat. So Katie asked, you know, for us to come down. Or for, well, because we, we weren't going to go down. But she asked Katie. Uh, Katie asked her mom if she can come down and, you know, and watch Caden do the uh, car seat test and what that test is is um, he has to be in a car seat for an hour and a half and um, so I guess they kind of prop the car seat like they 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 figured how it is in the car and that well for starters every damn car seat every seat in a vehicle is not the same as any other vehicle right but they do what they do right so anyways um, so yeah for an hour and a half now he did good for 45 minutes and he didn't you know what I mean he, he was almost there but uh what happens is when he gets into a sleep he goes into a really deep sleep and um he failed so my wife called me you know what I mean because I was all excited because you know what I mean my wife was keeping me in contact with what was going on and you know what I mean and uh but yeah he failed again so tomorrow's another test um, I think tomorrow or Monday. Yesterday was Katie's birthday. She's an old lady now. So, um, today's Saturday. So I called her midnight of Friday of her birthday and, um, wished her a happy birthday. I used to do that all the time for my wife. You know, when I worked nights, I worked nights for the longest time. And it was like six days a week, man. And um, everything. Valentine's, well, my wife's birthday is on Valentine's. And um, Christmas morning, you know, as soon as, soon as midnight came, I'd call. And, you know, any holidays, you know what I mean? Mother's Day or whatever. And um, I used to call. I'd be the first one, you know, con you know, Merry Christmas and that. But I had to do what I had to do to survive for the family and, and working long hours and a lot of hours and a lot of days is what I had to do but after so many years doing it um, now that you guys might laugh but I was actually a security guard for a Dodge dealership and uh, all I had to do was drive around all night and plow and um, yeah just drive around and um, in a Dodge vehicle, I always took the trucks and patrolled the parking lot and that. So that was my job for many, many years. But after a while, you know, you sit there and you, you know, it's like slow motion or, so, or slow motion, fast motion, whatever. And you know, the, the headlight comes and it seems like the headlight just stretches. And it was just getting too hard for me and I couldn't do it anymore. And, uh, and uh, so I went to, uh, that's when I started working for the scrapyard. So I was with this, that guy for quite a while. And um, I couldn't do it anymore. It was too hard on my eyes. And that, so, but yeah. So yeah, so you know what I mean? So yeah, no, Caden, he's still at home. Or at the hospital, Caden. Caden's birthday was yesterday. Um, the weather's been pretty good for the last couple days. Uh, you could see the snow going down slowly uh, as you're driving around. You, you know what I mean? When there's signs of water on the roadway and puddles and that, you know spring's coming. So hopefully by the end of this month, hopefully I don't have to buy no wood. Hopefully Caden makes it home before his uh, two months uh, being, you know, two months old and that. Um, damn, I don't got my computer up. I'll have to open up the computer. There's a couple, I know there's a couple new people for stickers, so I'll, I'll, I'll mention you guys and, and then I'll get those together. And, uh, but, uh, but anyway, so uh, I got this phone call once again, Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember. And uh, the phone call was from the Sault Ste. Marie Police Department, you know, serve and protect you. And um, 
it was private number or number unknown or whatever. I answer those anyways because it, they could be important. You know what I mean? Uh, I know a lot of people that don't answer those kind of calls because they assume automatically it's the you know credit place or you know what I mean. So you fuck your name up and then you get all paranoid and you don't answer those kind of calls. Well, even if my name was fucked, I'd still answer the phone anyways because you never know, right? Anyway, so yeah, so it was Sioux St. Marie Police Department. Uh, I have a YouTube, well, I have, I had or maybe I still have, I'm not sure, a uh, YouTube uh, visitor, a YouTuber that uh, went up to the police station and made a complaint um, about one of my videos. Um, it was the one that was uh, good to bad to stupid, that video there. So, um, so the cop told me, and super polite, like he was, man, he was a great person, a great person to talk to, because um, he said he's seen the video, and you know there wasn't much really concern, but out of respect, you know what I mean. And soon as I said, you know what, I'll take it down, not a problem. And then uh, he asked me how my grandson was doing, and. Uh, and then he let me know that him and his wife had an, uh, a baby that was born early. And uh, he said it's hard, you know, waiting for the baby to um, put the weight on and, uh, you know, until the baby's home. So he did wish myself and my family luck for the future. Nah, so that was cool. So that cop there, thumbs up for sure, man. Uh, Sault Ste. Marie needs more cops. Like, I forget his name, but... Cops, to me a cop is a cop, but this guy here was, um, he was a rock star, so. So yeah, so you know, I took it off. Not a problem. But yeah, so, um, so I did wrap myself, or wrap my, I did wrap my copper piping up, so that's all ready to go. I don't know if I mentioned I bought these square tubings. Did I tell you guys? 15 bucks. And, uh, I just finished welding on the bottom, and what I did was I, um, I put a plate of steel on both sides, pretty thick, and then um, welded it to this, and then squash it to that, and it's uh, 11 inches on both sides, so I just got to put the side pegs on, but I need to find a nice, um, nice surface in my garage, and there's not too many guys, because my floor is kind of out of whack here, like, because the way it was poured. And if you know, I don't think you guys can see, but my toolbox on we body shop on wheels is kind of tipped forwards, and I don't know why, you know what I mean. Like, and this floor is thick, and I don't know why they just couldn't take their time and you know what I mean and leveled it out, but they didn't. So, but that's all right within time, you know what I mean. I'll find out how much it is and I'll jackhammer all this shit out. In a couple of years or something, you know what I mean? Well, there's things to worry about than a fucked up floor. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm pretty well just um, creating tools and um, what a, or uh, a stand for my bead roller. And then after that, I'm done that. I'm gonna um, be using this guy here, and I'm gonna put him on a stand or um, make a stand for him. And that'll be another thing for me rolling metal. And that so, so yeah, I'm just live it out, live it this, and uh, like I said, it's nice and comfortable in here. But I got this big bush coat, and that's all cool. Now, um, so I went and renewed my health card, and um, when's the last time last video I made? Yeah, that'd be with stone fall, stone fur balls messing with my brain. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I guess this is stuff I never told you guys, so, um, so where you go for that is, is where you go get your sticker for your license and this and that, it's all one building, and, um, so I was actually going to see if I could find the fella that comes and looks at vehicles, and he's gone until the, uh, 23rd or the 27th or something of March, so, um, so I was talking to his wife, and I said, well, you know, I got a quarter panel done on the car, I said, you know, I'm getting ready to do the floors, and she goes, 
She goes, well, he does take that in consideration of, you know, the work that you did put into it. So, more like saying, you know what I mean? So, I don't know if I want to stop. I don't want to know if I want to continue on doing any more work on this thing. But I don't want to, you know, leave you guys stuck or bored out of your mind. And, but uh, I think if I did one floor pan, it wouldn't really matter. So, that's why I'm doing the bead roller um, stand. Because by the time I correct all that and make it all up. And then I got to go to the front garage. And I have a mortar. It's, really, it's an oversized uh, killed mortar. Um, that takes a belt. And um, we're going to get rid of that handle there. Because I, I want both hands in service on that. And then um, <coughs> what I got to do is I got to locate myself. Um, I got to locate myself a sewing machine pedal you know the pedals you know because it plugs into the wall and then it plugs in the sewing machine and and the sewing machine and that's what gets the sewing machine going so I was like mm, how can I do this without spending you know you can go and get these um, things that make it go forward and backward I don't care go for backwards or whatever um, as long as I can give it a slow speed of, um, of um, power so this mortar is really huge. It's really fucking big. It almost looks like it could be for an air compressor. I don't know what the hell it is. It's huge. I've been dragging it around forever and it has a plug on it. And stuff like that. So, yeah. But uh, I'm just going to have another smoke here. And then, um, and I've been cleaning up in here. And uh, just killing time and watching you guys on your videos. Today's Saturday, so I bet you Rick the Fix has got a video up by now. I've uh, seen Mr. Adam Niffin there doing some organizing in the garage. He said he wanted to see uh, how other people um, can jam a corner with so much equipment. You know what I mean? And not on your way well. I'm not at I'm not at that stage yet. I don't. Uh, spring time comes and then I'll be all right. Um, air compressor and everything will be in a separate room. And the only thing will be out here is uh, vehicle toolbox and um, my body shop on wheels and everything else will be jammed, jam screwed in the corner over there on the other side of the wall. Because uh, this air compressor is really starting to drive me nuts with the noise and that. So, um, what else? Um, so, I'm going to fire that computer up. There's uh, a few new people that are requesting a video. So, I'm going to go with it, man. Whatever. I'm going to go for the whole name and everything. So, it rolls off my tongue. And if I did it wrong, I will leave my face in one spot. You can go ahead and slap me. There you guys go, man. So, and that. So, but um, a small little update again here. Um, so we got the dash. You know what I mean? I don't know if you can see that. This is with the uh, 3M wheel, and this is by the um, the steel wheel. Now, it's got kind of a. I don't know if it was there before. Right here. Actually, it's probably from it being there too long, but it kind of, it's kind of, you know, sunk in a bit there. So I'm going to have to work on that. So no more, um, no more wire wheel on the dash and that. So anything else, fine, but not the dash. Okay, guys, so I'm going to have another smoke in that, and then uh, I'll hook you guys up. I'll get that computer up and running. And then uh, we'll go through names there that um, for more stickers and that. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Ciao. Coffee break. It's uh, 20 after 7. And it was 12 in here. And it's about 7 now. So, yeah, the sun's gone down. So that means all the little puddles are going to be slippery. And then tomorrow, next couple days. Should be nice out to calm for it, anyways. But I don't trust the weather, man. He's such a liar, that guy. And that. So um, I did have a, vi a second video going, but I was waiting for my inbox to go because in here I only got two bars. 
well here we go uh, stickers we have soup scoop soup s four o's p and a two uh, so I got a sticker is going to be going your way this week um, Chad O'Neill sticker um, this week Mr. Williams 5719 uh, sticker exchange I'll get my wife to put up her address so uh, so you guys can uh, mail me goodies as stickers and Valentine Hammer sticker Mr. Cecil 6711 new sticker so he's got my old sticker and um, so yeah so that, what's that that's um, one two three four five so there you go so there's five uh, new fellas that um, for stickers so I'll be more than glad to send stickers and um, and check check these folks out. Uh, uh, dog uh, dog buggy thirty two. Yeah, I know. Eh? Uh, all I can say is well. <laughs> um, now there's a fellow on this um, right here. I'll pop it up. He's a YouTuber. And um, I just popped this whole page up. Uh, back. Oh, wrong fella. He goes by Steelhawks. He's from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. And uh, I met this, uh, I met, I think his name, I want to say Chris. I could be wrong. Uh, I met this fella two, three years ago, two years ago, I guess. And um, actually my whole family met him. And um, what, how, it, how it worked was we're out playing in the mud up in the Sioux and um, he come rolling in on his mountain bike and um, standing by my wa my wife and watching me through mud all over the place and so my wife asked if he'd like to uh, to uh, go for a ride and throw some mud so my wife waved me over and uh, he came in the truck and we swung some mud around now this fella's always got a smile on his face and um, all the time Every time, you know, I've seen him before, and um, until they met him. But every time I see him, you know, because he's he's all over the place on his mountain bike. And um, winter time comes, he's like a bat out of hell, Whew, gone. It's amazing, but uh, he's always has a smile on his face. But uh, after the truck ride, he had a bigger smile, so that was cool. So um, this is the fella here, but he goes by Steelhawk right there um so he he's um sorry he, I, he, uh, sorry buddy um so i got his address so instead of just mailing it well i guess i can mail it um but he's requiring a sticker too uh and he asked if i could mention his uh video on some of uh, his mention him in some of my videos so there you go there uh, Steelhawk uh, anybody he um, covers he likes the Sioux Greyhounds and he does a lot of things like for the Sioux like um, remember stay he'll video stuff like that uh, a couple concerts um, and um, yeah we get concerts here guys we've had um, um, Kiss Molly Crew Lots of country bands, like top-notch names. So yeah, for a population that's only 50, 57,000. Um, but that's because we got a new arena, right? It's not new, but it's new, but it's not new. And um, <clears throat> it's, 
so you know the old place was old I remember when I was a, just a you know what I mean kid and you know what I mean it was around for a long time and but they did keep uh, part of the uh, of the old place it's the big round thing and it has uh, a red light that you know what I mean and I think it's when uh, Sue Greyhounds play out of town and then the light goes on I could be wrong it could be the other way but I think it's when they play out of town Sue Greyhounds they play like um, we have we've had Wayne uh, Wayne Grusky uh, he's from the Sue Greyhounds um, Oh man, we've had some um, some pretty top-notch guys out there from the Sioux Greyhounds that are playing in the uh, big league now, and that uh, or retired. But um, even a, a coach that coached the Sioux Greyhound, who is from um, Garden River, and um, I think he's coaching. I could be wrong. I think it's Boston. I could be wrong though. I know they fired him years ago, and um, and I'm pretty sure it was Boston, and now it's a big mistake. They, but I think he's back now, so and that. But uh, yeah, top-notch fucking coach there, man. And um, so yeah, we got a lot of fucking, you know, uh, what the hell is that lady that went to space? Oh, Jesus, man. Um, she's from here. And as soon as I uh, ask my wife, she'll let me know. Actually, let's do that right now. It's fine the phone. But uh, she's from here. And so, yeah, man, we get a lot of really some hot shots from the Sioux. That, um, um, that's, you know what I mean? Made it big. Hey. And. Yeah. Who's that one that went to space there, that female? Uh, That's from here. Bonder. Huh? R Roberta Bonder. Roberta Bonder. Something like that. So, yeah, she's... Okay, honey, thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. My wife's like a walking dictionary, man. She remembers everything. Like a walking file cabinet. Who's that? Oh, jeez. What? What? No, 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 no. It's okay, Dad. It's not seriously. Why did that not pour chop? Barbecue sauce? No. No. But uh, yeah, so we've had some pretty interesting people from here. There's uh me. <laughs> I never made it big though. You know what I mean? <laughs> I made it out of the suit, but I come back. That's just a joke. Uh, yeah, Mr. Cecil6711. Check him out. He's doing a Mustang. Well, he's not really... Well, he's... You know what I mean? But he's so busy. Um, he did get a, a new job there a while back now. But um, he's always doing something for somebody else. Uh, so that just makes him a good guy all the way around. And But everybody I watch... And um, I like them. I like everybody's videos. Um, oh, yes. So let's go check this out. So, you know, I watched um, VW Darren's uh, video. You know, you hear this shit on the news, right? Of people being guinea pigs. But actually knowing somebody. You know what I mean? And, um, but man. I can't believe that. I think he said 29 people. Um, this crazy doctor <laughs> decided to uh, do things that he thought was good or something. And uh, I guess there's some lawsuits going, so I'm pretty sure myself that um, hopefully everything works out for VW Derm. He's going to go for all that stuff again. Jeez, man. Rough, not rough, well, yeah, I guess you could say in rough shape, right? But he still makes videos. And, uh, he made a lot of stuff happen ever since he became on YouTube. 
he's been on for nine hours now this video and he's got 340 viewers that's fucking good man really good um oh where is it yeah so so there you oh well I guess I should show you guys my thing did I show you guys my thing meaning my uh, bead roller stand so she's all welded up I don't know did I even show you guys I'll give you a view anyway so she's all welded up together of course the floor like I said is out of whack what I did was I put it on this thing here hoping it's going to be alright if not well we'll just have to do a little something something but um, I'm going to grab that thing there put it like that but when I'm done I'll show you because I can't remember if I um if I um, if I mentioned or not, so I'll let you guys go. So yeah, there's stickers that are going to be going out this week, and uh, of course we'll bring the uh, camera to the um, to the uh, post office. Um, I think tomorrow's um, Caden's um, car seat test again. Can't remember. I have to ask my wife. It'd be Sunday or Monday, and uh, I hope he passes, man. And that's so he's getting big, six pounds. Six pounds. Katie uh, posted this morning. Uh, six pounds. Huff, oh, he's a little porky. And uh, so he's putting the weight on, right? He is getting taller, like longer than that, and. Uh, you know, after Katie gets home and relaxes and gets, you know, when the baby gets, you know, used to the car seat, hopefully maybe Katie will come and hang out, you know, bring the baby and hang out. And uh, it'll be so much easier. And then, um, of course, um, you know, smoking around the baby. And that. Did you guys know in the States they passed the law here? Now, I don't know if they did it in the States or whatever. But um, if there's a child in your vehicle and you're smoking... Oh yeah, you're getting a fucking ticket. Um, I got a ticket once. And I completely forgot about it. Because I'm not used to having, you know, young kids in the vehicle. And uh, I had my grandson in there and uh, not even thinking about it. I lit a smoke. They had a ride program at the end of the, my road on Bar Road. And uh, fuck sure enough, man got a ticket 200 and something dollars and um but it was just like an instant thing you know I'd get in the vehicle light up a smoke and go right but uh i remember who it was that gave me the ticket yeah oh yeah oh yeah it was stone kicker oh yeah that's who gave me the ticket <laughs> because uh he was coughing me an attitude that day and uh yeah so yeah it was stone kicker <laughs> But anyway, guys, so I'll be back. I'm going to monkey with this some more. And, uh, yeah, and then uh, we'll give her a go. I'm going to dig out that mortar tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow's Sunday, so I really can't get no... Um, it's going to be driven by belt. and um, Or, yeah, because I don't think I can find a long chain. But I guess I can if I look hard enough. But uh, I'll try it with a belt first. And then uh, hopefully that works out because uh, I don't want to do it by hand that crank is coming off but okay guys so I'll be back in a bit man ciao <coughs> how's it going guys so it's uh, 9 30 uh, I finished up what I had to do I went in for supper and I brought Dozer out with me where is he there he is there's Dozer there we gotta turn his uh he's scared of the camera I think. <laughs> I find these dogs really nervous. I don't know why. You know, we never beat the little suckers. But we're gonna have to turn his fat into muscles pretty soon. Because uh these dogs don't look very good fat. They need muscles. Hey eh, dozer? Me? Eh? Little horses and pumping. Eats two times a day, a big dish full. So 
So, uh, he doesn't go in the kitchen, though, you know what I mean? He just, uh, he's a really mellow dog. You know what I mean? You get him to get up on the couch and pfft, people can walk by, he don't care. No care in the world, him. Let him outside playing today, kicking the snow around and making him go crazy. What he does is he'll run forward at you and jump. And I don't know if he does it on purpose, but by the time he hits you, he's got himself turned sideways. And that, so. But it wasn't a very active dog this winter. Damn thing didn't like to go outside. I think it's his real first long winter, because when we got him a pup, yeah, so this is the first winter he's been outside, really, because he's a little over a year, I think, or close, to, yeah, he's about a year, a little over a year, I guess, because they keep him for, you know what I mean, and then, um, so this was his first real winter, he opened the door and the little bugger would turn around and run away the opposite direction, and, um, when, we, when we're gone out, if nobody's around, we put him in his kennel and that. And then uh, when I'm in the house, you know, he's always sitting with me or beside me somewhere. It's actually my wife's dog. It, it was her birthday gift. And um, look, he's trying to climb on me. And he just took a liking to me. That's because my wife's not able to get downstairs all the time, so. So, yeah, so, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. You know, guys, I don't even know what I'm doing most of the time. I, you know, I get up. My goal is to come out here and get the wood stove going. You know, hang out here for about 20 minutes until it's going good. And then I'm good to go and do something else. And then I come in here and, you know, I'll look around and I was like, hmm, what's to do? You know, I know the car is here to do, but but even if I wanted to do the floor, I had to I had to get this bead roller ready. That's how long it's been sitting around. You know what I mean? I haven't I just played with it just a tiny bit, and that was it. And that. Uh, so I guess tomorrow will be the same thing. Come out here, light the stove, and. Um, Tell you guys it goes. What do you want? She's gonna come sit with me, Brenda. Get her, dozers. Get her. Get her. And he turns around and runs my way. Tell me the story with him. See? He's funny, this dog, man. No, he likes the other side. He don't want to play. See if it's got to go poo poo pee pee. Okay. As soon as say poo poo pee pee, yes, I started that. And uh, straight to the door he goes. We get up first thing in the morning, he sleeps in my bed with me. Get up first thing in the morning, go downstairs and straight to the door. So he's getting used to the routine anyways. So uh, McMillan was out of the hospital for a couple days. And uh, it doesn't matter. And uh, it's fucking back in there again. And back in the hospital again. Um, his bone is like jello. Like, you know what I mean? His bones. And uh, so he called me yesterday, Friday morning. Or, yeah, Friday morning. To let me know that because we were supposed to go there and go get his dog because this guy's got his dog and I told him go I'll go get his dog for him. I guess the guy doesn't want to give his dog back to him, but and uh, and that so so I guess I don't know if we end up going to town tomorrow. We'll be back upstairs again, third floor. Hell, he was gonna well. Still is, we think. We're gonna stay with him and help him. Cause, uh, cause what happens is, you know what I mean? He's getting like really, he's getting fat. I guess it has to be fat. You know what I mean? He's like, you know, like he used to be stocky, and he's been in the chair for 17 years. And what happens is, you know what I mean? 
his, because he's paralyzed from the waist down and you know from the rubbing on the wheelchair he ends up well I guess be like grabbing sandpaper and, and gouging out fucking uh, Bondo so you know what I mean so he's getting all this shit happening over the years But uh, I hate to have to say it though, but he was in his old, back to his old habit there when we went there, so. I mean, uh, so, I don't know. But, uh, we're talking there, shit, we known each other for almost 30 years, man. That's pretty wild. He was 13, Big Chris was 14, and I was 16. So, yeah, and then, uh, like he said, you know, like, that we're so, and we're so much alike, all three of us, you know what I mean, that we're, all three of us were so, well, we were all like, um, you know what I mean, rough childhood, you know what I mean, uh, he lived with his aunt and uncle, I said his grandparents, I meant to say his aunt and uncle, and, um, because his parents just wasn't there for him. Uh, Big Chris, you know, when I met Big Chris, I met Big Chris first, and um, it was probably not even, maybe just over a month when his dad got crushed in between uh, trains. He worked for the uh, CN rails there, and uh, he got crushed in between trains and died. So Big Chris was going through a thing, and then me, well, I was just in a boys' home and, you know, wasn't raised by my mom. Yeah, so yeah, but uh, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I'll show you my bead thing, my bead thing, and uh, now I guess we'll just I don't know, call it tonight and and that. But so I got this other plate on right here just to make it look pretty, eh? And uh for shits and giggles, I wanted to see if I could get a weld to stick in it. Damn it, the hell I did. And the idea is because this is thicker, you know what I mean? You just fucking hit the trigger and keep going on that until it gets really, really hot and then start rolling over to the next, uh, to the thinner stuff. And that's how that does that. You guys know that anyways. Same thing here. Started my beads. I started up here. I just made a big puddle and then I connect it. To the uh, so yeah, so the mm, I don't even know. I bet you already showed you guys this shit. I just thought of that now. Anyways, nothing bolt or the bolts are there just for looks. I probably just did that, didn't I? Eh? Okay, guys. Well, I'm gonna um, sit down and have a smoke, and I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. And um, I'll get my wife to uh, put up our address for you guys. And um, and that. So, thanks for hanging out on a Saturday, and uh, see you guys tomorrow for sure. Ciao.